Hey everyone, this is Naps Ventures Nye, and today's video is about how to feed a baby squirrel. As you can see, we will be using a paintbrush in order to feed these squirrels, but if you would be more comfortable using a syringe or a dropper, and your baby squirrels are more comfortable feeding from that, then go for it. If you do, however, plan on using a paintbrush, then make sure that you've not used that paintbrush earlier because any paint residue on it is not going to be good for your baby squirrel. Also, if it is a new paintbrush, then make sure that it has no chemicals on there because that's no good either. All right, so that's that. Moving on to how you're supposed to hold your baby squirrel while feeding. Now, this is something which is better understood by watching. So, it won't be explained in the video. You can watch and learn. Now, before you feed your baby squirrel, there are three main things to keep in mind. Firstly, make sure that your baby squirrel is warm because if your baby squirrel is cold, then it won't be able to digest the milk properly. So when you carry your baby squirrel, make sure he or she is warm to touch. Secondly, you need to make sure that the milk you give to them is slightly warm as well. It should not be cold because then your baby squirrel might refuse to drink it. Thirdly, you also need to make sure that your baby squirrel is not dehydrated. Make sure that he or she is well hydrated before you give them milk. When you do start to give them milk, make sure that you're holding them in an upright position. They should not be laying down on their back because that poses a threat of the milk going into their lungs, which is very bad for them. So make sure they're in an upright position. Depending on how old your baby squirrel is, you have to feed them a certain amount of milk. So you need to do your research, look at a couple of baby squirrel photos so that you can tally the similarities and figure out how old he or she is. And based on that, you need to give them a certain amount of feed. Sometimes what happens is the baby squirrel might refuse to drink anymore and they have not finished drinking the required amount or that they will continue to drink milk even after drinking the required amount. So you need to make sure that you do not overfeed them. At the same time, you need to make sure that you do not underfeed them. So that is important. Do not force feed them because that can lead to several problems. One of them being that they may inhale the milk, which can lead to this thing called aspiration pneumonia. Now, this is actually one of the re main reasons for many baby squirrel deaths. So make sure that you watch out for this one. Aspiration pneumonia develops when they are not fed properly and end up breathing or inhaling the formula into their lungs. This can be fatal. Keep in mind that force feeding is not the only cause of this. It could be the position, you know. Remember, you're supposed to feed them in an upright manner because if you feed them the other way around, then that can lead to aspiration pneumonia as well. At the same time, if they drink it down too fast and they end up inhaling it during that time, it can lead to aspiration pneumonia as well. So just be very careful while you feed them. Once you are done feeding your baby squirrel, you need to stimulate him or her. This is because Squirrels that are five weeks or under cannot remove the waste products from their body on their own. So they need to be stimulated in order to do so. So that is it for this video. 
If you would like to see two baby squirrels being fed, then continue watching. Hope that this helped and have a wonderful day ahead.